Welcome back to HK. I'm so glad that you joined us this afternoon. My name is Miss Naomi and today we're gonna have some fun. You know, we are in the season of giving and we get a lot of good news around Christmas time. And you know what? I have some good news for you. God sent his son to die on the cross for our sins. Isn't that great news? Throughout this episode, we're going to learn a lot more about ways that we can tell others about this good news. So before we begin, let's pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to come back another Sunday to learn more about you. We pray that as we go throughout this episode, that you'll allow us to have fun and learn more about how we can spread your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God wants us as families to worship and to spread the good news. So you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna get ready, get up, get excited, cause we're about to have some HQ worship. God's our Father, good, good Father, and we're all His sons and daughters. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We can always stick together, though we're different from each other. We are brothers, we are sisters, we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. God loves me and God loves you In His family there is room For our brothers, for our sisters We are family Let's forgive and get along Let's together we are strong We are brothers, we are sisters We are family We're God's family Loving and honoring We're not perfect but you'll see That we are family we're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. We're God's family, loving and honoring. We're not perfect, but you'll see that we are family. That was some great worship, wasn't it? I really enjoyed dancing and singing along with the music. It can be a bit embarrassing or even scary to tell others about the good news of Jesus. But today, we're going to learn about two people who helped Paul to tell others about the good news of Jesus. And their names were Aquila and Priscilla. Let's listen to Miss Renee. Hey there. This is Miss Renee, here to share with you today's Bible story. You will find it in the book of Acts at chapter 18. Now, Paul was a missionary sent by the church in a place called Antioch to go and tell people about Jesus. This missionary journey had taken him very far and more and more people were beginning to follow Jesus. Paul eventually came to the city of Corinth where he met a man named Aquila and his wife Priscilla. Aquila and Priscilla were both Jews who had just come from Rome. They had to run away from Rome because the Emperor Claudius had issued a law that forced all Jews to leave Rome. Ah. Uh, how do you think they felt? Do you think they were happy or, or annoyed that they had to pack up all their belongings and, and leave? Well, Priscilla and Aquila were both tent makers. Paul was also a tent maker. So you could imagine just how excited he must have been when he met Aquila and Priscilla. In fact, he was so excited that he decided to live and work with them making tents. 
every week on the Sabbath, Paul would go to the synagogue where all of the Jews gathered and he would tell them about Jesus. Paul stayed in Corinth for another year, working with Priscilla and Aquila and teaching people about Jesus. Even though some people rejected Jesus, Paul knew that he would always be safe. Do you know how he knew this? Because Jesus came to him in a dream while he was sleeping. In the dream, Jesus said, do not be afraid, Paul. Keep on speaking, do not be silent, for I am with you and no one is going to attack and harm you. Eventually, Paul had to leave Corinth, but Priscilla and Aquila decided to leave Corinth with him. They sailed for the city of Ephesus. Priscilla and Aquila wanted to stay in Ephesus so they could make tents and teach more people about Jesus. But Paul wanted to return home. Do you remember the name of the place that he came from? Antioch, yes. So Paul left Ephesus and returned to Antioch to tell the church there all of the great things God had been doing while he traveled. Priscilla and Aquila decided to stay on in Ephesus. And while they were there, they heard of a great teacher named Apollos. Apollos had come to Ephesus from Alexandria in Egypt. They went to the synagogue to hear Apollos preach. Now Apollos was a great preacher and he told the people all about Jesus. But there was only one problem. Priscilla and Aquila realized that Apollos was only telling part of the good news. You know what they did? They invited Apollos to their house and they taught him. They told him that Jesus had died on the cross and had been raised from the dead, that he was the Messiah, that now people could be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, Apollos was an even better teacher, thanks to Aquila and Priscilla. He could tell people that Jesus could wash away their sins. When Apollos decided to go to Corinth, everyone was so happy. Apollos went to Corinth. Corinth, you remember, is the place where Priscilla and Aquila first met Paul. Because Apollos was such a good teacher, he was a great help to the church there in Corinth. This story reminds us that anyone can tell the good news of Jesus, whether they're a preacher, a missionary, a tent maker, or a 10 year old. Do you know what kind of job you would like to do when you grow up? Well, whatever you choose, always remember that you have a big responsibility to tell others about Jesus. Why don't you talk to your family this week about how you can work together to tell others about God? Aquila and Priscilla was a really great example about how we can share the good news of Jesus, wasn't it? That was a great story, Miss Rennie. You know, the Holy Spirit also helps us know what to say in times where we share the good news. Even though we may not know exactly how to say it or what to say, the Holy Spirit helps us. Right now, we're going to go to Miss Rosita who has a really exciting activity for you guys today. Take it away, Miss Rosita. Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Rosita here to, this, to wish you a happy day. And today's activity, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to do an objective lesson today. And it's going to be in a form of where we share the good news of Jesus Christ with our friends, our neighbors, and those around us. And you might wonder what the good news is. Good news is telling people about Jesus Christ and his love for us and how he cares so much about you and I and the world in general. I know it can be a bit scary, but you don't have to do this all by yourself. You can get help from your parents, your pastor or your youth leader and also you can pray about, pray about it and ask God for his guidance and today with our activities there are a few things that I'd like you to get first of all I would like you to get a plate 
some milk, some Q-tips, a small dish with some dishwashing liquid, and some food coloring. In that way, we'll be able to do our activity. And I'll give you a few seconds in order to get it. Now, let's get started. We're going to put some milk in our plate which will re represent the world, which is waiting for some colors, then we're gonna add our colors into it. But you also ask to get some help, so in that we're going to dip our Q-tip in some dishwashing liquid and place it in the center. And you can see how the good news of Jesus is being spread all over. Boys and girls, this is how amazing God is. And He wants us to tell everybody about Jesus and to color the world with His good news. Boys and girls, I hope you had a lot of fun doing today's activity like I did. And I hope that you'll be able to spread the good news of Jesus Christ with your friends, your family, and your loved ones as the Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to. Just as you learned in your Bible story today, as Aquila and Priscilla did back in the days, sharing God's love with everyone they meet. So once again, boys and girls, do enjoy this week and have a good, blessed week. Bye for now. So guys, just as we can share the word of God, so can families share the message, the good news that Jesus came to die for our sins. And you know what we did? We spoke to some of our HK kids and we're going to listen to ways in which they can help share the good news of God. Let's listen. What can your family do to tell others about God? What my family can do to tell others about Jesus Christ is... Go around the world and tell people the good news about Jesus and that Jesus is always there for you and you'll never be alone. My family can tell others about God by going to shelters and giving away food and clothing. We, while we're there, we can tell others about God. Going to learn our Bible verse for the week with Miss Rennie. Take it away. Hey, how well do you know sign language? Hands up if you do. Well, to be honest, I really don't know it that well. But today, I'm excited to learn four words in sign with you. The first word is my. And that one is pretty simple, right? You take your hand and you bring it to your chest. My. My. My? <laughs> we, we do this all the time without even realizing that we're doing it. The next is family. We begin by our th with, with our thumb and index finger, pinching them together. And when we do, the other fingers go up and we do the same with the other hand. We bring them together and we move both hands out in a circular motion. Family. Family, you know, like a family circle. Family. So we have my 
and we have family. The next is worship. Worship. Now, make a fist, cut the other hand with it, but this is not a tight fist, you know, it's a gentle fist. And you move it outwards, you know, like you're begging. Worship. 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 So we have my family and we have worship. The next is Lord. Lord. Now, what letter does the word Lord begin with? The letter L. Very good. Now, this is the letter L in sign. You know, like L, yeah, but yeah, L. <laughs> All right. So, how we say Lord is, I'm right-handed, so my right hand is up. So, I will take the thumb and bring it to my left shoulder and down to my right hip. So, Lord. 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 So, we have, what's the first word? My. We have family. We have worship. And we have Lord. Now, today's Bible uh, verse is taken from Joshua 25, verse 14. And it says, As for me and my family, we will worship the Lord. This means that you will do whatever it takes as far as you can, as much as you can to make sure that whatever happens in your house is to God's honor. As for me and my family, we will worship the Lord. Well guys, we've come to the end of our episode for this week. I really had fun spending this time with you. I also learned a lot of ways in which families can spread the good news of Jesus. This week, I encourage you to tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody you know about the good news of Jesus. Remember our Bible verse and try to put it into action. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to our channel as yet, subscribe and hit the like button on this video. See you next week. You are loved.